to go before we burn. And so we like that one. That one's that one's saved. And so this was too far across. We're going to pull it back so where those electrodes are on either side of the spinous process, right there, right? Perfect position. Mm -hmm. And so now we want to wheel this peak back so where the peak, I don't know if this can be seen, but there's a, a white band right here on the radio frequency probe. And this white band will tell you that whenever this blue assembly is pulled back uh, more proximal than this white band, then the peak will no longer be covering the distal tip of the radio frequency probe, the, the electrodes. So I'm going to wheel this all the way back. until the peak is pulled off of the electrodes. And I'm gonna do a final adjustment to put it on either side, the electrodes on either side of the spinous process. Perfect. Let's take a look at that lateral. Let's save that. <clears throat> Hook it up, burn 85 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. And as you're burning, we go on to the next level. As mentioned, at minimum, there'll be two, two burns for one disc. And we like that a lot. So minimum two burns uh, for one disc. If you have two discs, there'll be, there'll be three burns you'll burn if they're consecutive. So this is uh, very simple and straightforward. It's fast. It's not always this easy in people with hard bone. It can be more difficult to locate the center of the vertebral body, especially if the, the night and all. And this uh, device that is designed to steer, if it over or under steers, it can be difficult. And this is located, it has a bevel on the tip of it to exaggerate the native steering capability of the night and all. It's designed to go where it points, of course, and it has a bevel on the end of it that facilitates that directional capability. So, that is basic vertebral nerve ablation. Excellent. Questions, comments? For the temperature, it's, 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 temp, it's uh, measuring the temperature right at the distal tip, correct? <laughs> yes, so it's um, 85 degrees um, C, and it's burned for about 15 minutes, and that gives you about six millimeters in diameter uh, of, of uh, kill zone of really uh, primarily completely neurolytic territory. And that's the bullseye accounts for that zone followed by the cooler zone that's about 50 to 85 degrees. Um, well, it's cooler than, than the 85 degrees down to 50. And then the center of that bullseye is due to uh, the, the cannula, the night null cannula. Excellent. Question, uh, question here. Oh, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bilo, is it done with sedation the majority of the time? Yes, so this is at least moderate sedation. I usually take this to the OR. So really it has to do with length of time. Having if you know two or three, four uh, burns can take up to an hour, hour and a half sometimes. My average procedure time is about 50 to 70 minutes, somewhere in that range, so right at an hour. Uh, keeping somebody under MAC or constant sedation for an hour is difficult, and this is about like a kyphoplasty procedure in terms of discomfort for the patient. The exception is a kyphoplasty procedure is a lot faster than this. So I actually do these in the OR. Quick question. They're asking, uh, are, you, are you doing any sensory testing to replicate uh, uh, so on this one, this is different. There's no, no sensory testing, no motor testing. You put it in the right spot, and it's burn, baby, burn. Okay. There's no, no motor nerves in there. All of these are just purely sensory. Uh, yeah, good question. Yeah, looking at the, uh, is it covered by insurance, and what is the authorization process like? It is covered by insurance. It's, Medicare has a code for it. Uh, we apply for commercial coverage. It's covered, for, uh, I get about 70% approval rate. So it's not covered by all commercial insurances, but all told, Medicare is 100%, and 70% of commercial carriers will, will cover this. 
and it's uh, APC 5115 code, which means that this is a level five code. It's, uh, by comparison, kyphoplasty is a level four code, so this is a level up in terms of complexity, mainly because of time, uh, but it reimburses extre extremely well because it's a level five code. Same lines. What so it'll be the best thing that you do in terms of payment. Sure. Except for in office kyphoplasty. The question was uh, another question, uh, Doug, is that uh, do they have to have failed uh, epidural injections, for example, or medial branch blocks or anything uh, of conservative therapy before you would consider this? So, you know, for stable discogenic back pain, um, you know. Manchester County wrote a paper that says you have 4.2 point reduction in the numerical rating score for um, epidural injections for discogenic back pain or for back pain. I don't do epidural injections for, for back pain primarily. I do other things. So yes, you have to fail non-surgical management, but that can just include, you know, acupuncture, exercise, tai chi, yoga, and PT. It doesn't have to include injections. Okay. Thanks, Lon. Other questions, concerns? Excellent. Thank you very much, Doug. You bet. Thank you, guys.